Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we have a story of a man who found out his GF secret convos with another guy. And this is what he finally did. Here's the full story with multiple updates. My now ex and I had been dating for three years as of October 21st. I guess she wanted to celebrate our anniversary by cheating. She and I lived together for about a year, and about two months before we were going to renew our lease, she decided she wanted to join the National Guard. Being her boyfriend, I supported her, of course. Unfortunately, that meant I had to quit my good-paying job and move hours away. A little backstory, I moved away from my parents to be with this girl. Don't judge me, so I was on my own without her. I didn't have much work experience and hadn't figured out my career yet. Thankfully, I got a good-paying job right after I moved there, so I was pretty comfortable. Knowing this job was not easy to come by, I was worried about moving and barely scraping by in a new area. Going back to the story, I decided to move back home and try long distance. My first, well really second, mistake was when I caught her kind of flirting with her ex at one point. Like a fool, I believed it was nothing. So our lease ended. I moved home, and she moved in with her parents. Fast forward two months, she's having problems with her family, and I'm having trouble finding a job that pays enough for me to visit her. But I'm hopeful. Again, I got the feeling she was cheating. I confronted her, as any worried partner should, and it got dismissed, third and final mistake. Lately, in the past month, she's been very distant with me, saying she was busy with her family and hasn't been acting the same while talking to me. She says it's stress in this, that, and the third. Eventually, it came to us talking about breaking up or a break. I oppose taking a break, if we're breaking up, we're breaking up. We're adults, and I didn't want to play this on and off game. We talked and decided to stay together, and she was going to come visit me within the next week. She had military training to go to, which was fine. I didn't think anything about it. I sent her some snapchats of our cat, who stays with me, and texted my goodnights and happy sweet rainbows and unicorns, wishing her luck on her training. She read it but didn't reply at about 9.30 p.m. I woke up this morning at about 5 a.m. and saw she replied to my Snapchat with some sort of fair or carnival sign, and it said she sent it at 12 a.m. Weird, I thought she went to bed. I got that gut feeling something was off, but I didn't want to snoop on her accounts. Eventually, I reached the point where I needed to see what was going on. I signed into her Snapchat to find her sending videos and pictures to some guy in an address she told me was her recruiter's place he lets people rent out for training. She's been talking to this guy for about a month, which adds up to why she was acting weird with me. She was talking to him before we even discussed breaking up, but that doesn't matter at this point. Which brings us to the present, me feeling like a fool, and how I should've just trusted my gut the first time. She was every bit as loving to me up until the last couple of weeks, so as I tell everyone she was unfaithful, it comes as a shock. I'm sure a lot of people are feeling what I'm feeling, anger, sadness, hopelessness, and everything else I could possibly feel. I texted her that I saw what I saw, and that's all I said. She still hasn't replied, but part of me doesn't want her to. I don't want to hear her excuses or apologies because, at the end of the day, there is no reason or excuse to cheat on your partner. Be an adult and handle it before it gets to that point. Another part of me is hoping she answers so I can see if she feels any regret or if she's not going to be phased by it and brush it off like I'm nothing to her. I'm sorry for those who feel this and just know it's never your fault. I'm not blaming myself for her doing what she did, just disappointed that it happened. I don't talk to any other girls because I'm not good with them, so I'm just going to try to drown myself in making myself better and talk about my situation for my own sake. Thank you for reading this. I know it'll get better. Some relevant comments. It will get better, and though it will hurt, I think it is worth getting a debrief of what happened between you two. Try to do this without blaming and fighting. What has happened has happened. It'll let you work through and understand what went wrong and maybe be a lesson for future relationships. I thought about it, but like I said, she hasn't replied to what I said. Considering she's most likely still around the guy that did it, I'd feel better not contacting her. I don't want to feel like they're just reading my text to her and laughing at me. Thank you for your suggestion, though. I agree. If she answers me, I'll try to dig and find out what went wrong. I hate to say this, but I felt more sorry for you before you found out. You moved away from your family to be with her. Then you gave up a good job to be with her for the National Guard. Seriously, why? You lost money in the career move. You do know it takes years to actually make money in the Guard. I completely agree with you. I'm already at home with my parents, and she's with her parents, so we're already separated. Trust me, I thought we were going to work this out together considering how much time, effort, and money I've dumped into this relationship. In no way, shape, or form do I want to form a new friendship or relationship with her at this point. 
edit, it hasn't even been 24 hours, and this is the worst pain I've felt. She still hasn't replied to me. But now I feel like I deserve some sort of closure. I've only been able to wonder why and how and what I did to deserve it, even though I know I didn't do anything to deserve it. I really want to just numb the pain, but if I do, she wins in the end. Yet I can't bring myself to do anything besides crying in bed. Man, this effing sucks. If you ever think about cheating, don't. No, it causes the worst pain a person can feel, especially if you're just left like you never meant a thing to that person. Update, can stress completely change a person? My now ex-girlfriend has been under a ton of stress for the past two months. She cheated on me, hence the now ex, but it's completely out of character for her. Not saying her cheating is justified, but she's acting like a person I've never met before. She was super sweet and loving, we never really argued or fought. We did a lot together, and our relationship was overall really healthy. Of course, we had our ups and downs just like anyone else, but still. She was very distant with me before I found out, and now she's completely cut me off, saying she would like to try again when she's in a better state of mind. She is open to doing therapy for her emotional issues. I don't know if it's worth trying again, yet I can't help but wonder if her stress, layered on top of emotional issues, is what made her act out this way. It's been about two weeks since I found out, but this is weighing on my mind really heavily. Is this a typical thing stress can do to someone? It's so bizarre to see her do a complete 180. Edit, her brother and I are good friends, and I told him to just keep an eye on her. I don't want her to hurt herself. He gave me word that she's been constantly drinking since I found out, and honestly, it hurts me to hear that. Edit 2, I see everyone's side of the spectrum. I think I need to listen to you all. I wasn't trying to ask if stress was a causing factor, I mean if that can help push someone to do so. My partner has been through a lot of emotional trauma, and I just want to help. You are 100% right about her needing to fix herself on her own. Part of me wants to leave her, and the other part wants the challenge of fixing her. I know you all could never see it from my eyes, but I do hear you all, and I'm really taking your advice on this. I don't know anymore. Nothing makes sense. I don't know. Update. I'm a 20-year-old male. I found out my girlfriend of three years was cheating on me for the last month. It broke me as a person. I'm usually very enthusiastic and optimistic about everything, but seeing the messages she sent to the guy just broke me. I haven't felt like myself since I found out, but I know this is typical. She and I met in 11th grade math. The teacher sat us next to each other and assigned everyone to an after-school project in pairs. She came to my house, and we worked on the project together. I knew I had to have her. She's everything I want in a girl, she's so beautiful, she's smart, fun to be around, she isn't annoying or obsessed with social media, and best of all, she actually makes me laugh hard. I felt like she was perfect for me. Once we graduated high school, she moved to her hometown, which was states away, and I was willing to move as well. I moved away from my friends and family to be with her. We had our own apartment that we could barely afford at first, but we made it work. We struggled and had amazing memories together once we moved in. I shortly got a really good job that paid well and had tons of benefits. I was happy, and I made sure she was too. We worked so well together. Just as COVID started, she got laid off, and I was taking care of us until she got unemployment. I was happy to take care of her, I loved her unconditionally, and I truly felt she was going to be the person I was going to die next to. A couple of months before we were going to renew our lease, she was still struggling to find work and decided she wanted to join the military. I supported her and wanted her to do what she felt was best. It came time to renew our lease, and she told me once she joins, we're going to have to move four to five hours away from where we were at the time. I explained to her that I was very lucky to find the decent paying job I had found and that I knew it was going to be even more difficult to find another one that pays enough to support myself or even the two of us if needed. Eventually, I decided I couldn't risk my own well-being for her, so I moved back home. Now we're moving closer to the present. I moved home, and she came to visit me and helped me move into my family's new house. Everyone loved having her around and enjoyed her. She stayed with us for a couple of weeks before she had to go home and start getting ready for the military. That's when things started to get bad. She slowly started becoming shorter, less responsive, and not showing me the affection she used to. I tried talking to her about it, but she would tell me she's busy dealing with her family and training. I understood, she really was having a hard time in her family life at the time, and it was only getting harder on her. I was focusing on getting my life started in a career that could eventually get us back to that point of being able to take care of our needs and living with each other again. One night, I just had a gut feeling something was off, and I signed into her social media, something I never really did, 
And there it was. My heart sank into my stomach, and everything was getting blurry due to the tears welling up in my eyes. I started shaking and crying. I never cry. I've lived a lifetime of pain and hardships in my 20 years, so it really takes a lot to get me to that point. It shattered me. I told her I knew she was cheating, and she didn't answer me for one to two days. She told me everything and how she felt so bad about it, but I knew why she felt that way, she got caught. But I couldn't bring myself to hate her. This girl was so perfect, she showed me love I've never felt from my own mom. She truly cared about me and was so genuine up until that point. We talked, and I explained to her how I felt and what I wanted out of this situation. Ultimately, after trying to tell myself, F that girl, she cheated. And I don't need her, I still loved her and wanted her. Today, we talked, and I was excited to tell her once she finishes basic training. I wanted her to visit me and try to talk this through in person. But she told me she didn't feel the same way about me anymore. She told me she has been struggling to care about anything in her life at this point. Knowing there was nothing more I could do, I decided letting go was the best option for myself. Right now, I sit here broken. My best friend is gone. The person I trusted wholeheartedly isn't the person I fell in love with anymore. This is the worst pain I've ever felt, and I feel like I don't have anyone to lean on through this. All I can do is cry by myself and hate that she did this to me. I sacrificed so much for her and did everything I could to make her know she was appreciated and important. I tried so hard just to fall flat on my face and hit the ground harder than I ever have. I've been reading a book called How to Win Friends and Influence People, and it honestly has helped me come to terms with what she decided to do. I know it had nothing to do with me, it was all her and her alone. I don't hate her, I still love her. She is a good person, but she just showed me the worst side of herself. The book is teaching me how to try looking at things from other people's points of view. Even though I'm hurt, the only way for me personally to move on is to forgive what she did. I hope everyone who reads this is willing to look at not only my situation but at yours as well with an open mind instead of a heart filled with hate and pain. At the end of the day, I did my part. I showed her love no one else has ever shown her before, and she admitted that to me. It was her past self coming back to the present and ruining what we had. It's her battle to fight on her own. Thanks if you read all this, I just wanted to vent how I feel right now because I don't have anyone else I can share my true feelings with. I'm not asking for anyone to message me or help me. I'm at such a low point right now I don't know what else to do. All I can do is go through the motions of a breakup and try my best to move on. Edit, I've taken your advice and blocked her everywhere I can. I realized keeping her contacts open was just me trying to justify a sense of hope that she would come back. I know eventually she will because of how awesome I am as a partner, but I can't allow myself to let her control it. I want to take control of my life and the way I feel. Thank you to everyone who commented and helped me realize the errors I've been making. Update, it's only been a little over a month since I found out. It ended ugly, but the last thing I told her is that I'll always have room for her in my life. Since then, I've cut all contact with her, and I don't think what I said is true anymore. I feel like I have PTSD when I hear her name or think about a picture of her. I can't let her back and even though I miss what we had so badly, every day is a struggle for me to just feel okay. I wake up missing her being beside me, missing texting her little stupid things to make her laugh. I thought she was my best friend, but that all ended when I read the texts and saw what she was sending him. At work, all they play in the store is Christmas music about being with the one you love, and it's embarrassing as a man to feel like you need to tell your supervisors you need to go home because of how hard it is not to burst out in tears. I've never been cheated on before, and this is hitting me harder than anything I've ever faced before. I'm so tired of struggling just to pretend to be happy. This is not who I am as a person. She broke me and I don't know how to pick the pieces back up. I know it'll take a lot of time, but I want to be okay now. I know cutting her out of my life is the only option I have to really heal, but I feel like I have so much to say to her. I know she won't listen and it'll be a waste of my time. I can't shake the feelings I have for her. I want these emotions to stop and I want to move on. I try to distract myself every moment I can, but once I get a second of free time, it all comes back. I can't stop crying at times and it's humiliating. All my confidence is out the window. I'm literally sitting in my work bathroom crying as I type this because I can't get it off my mind. And it's so painful and heavy I don't know what else to do. I just want to feel okay again. Update. Is it okay to self-isolate for self-improvement? So, boy had his heart broken about one to two months ago. Lately, I've been on an emotional roller coaster. I can't look at social media anymore or listen to the music I used to. I feel so jaded talking to any of my friends or even the customers at work. And I know I'm just bringing everyone down. I feel like it would be best if I were just left alone until I can figure out my emotions. I've reached out to people who are close to me, 
and I still feel numb to them. I feel so bad reaching out just to feel nothing. They don't deserve that just because I can't keep my emotions under control. I don't know if it would be healthy to solely focus on myself. I'm not saying I'd ignore anyone who tried to contact me, but I just don't know what else to do. Update. Since then, I've blocked her on everything, deleted all the pictures, and got rid of all the gifts and things that reminded me of her. I started going to the gym in January. I hang out with my friends as much as I can, basically trying to do whatever I need to do to not think about her anymore. I was doing pretty well for a while. I've lost 30 plus pounds, bought some nicer fitting clothes, and got a new haircut. But then I failed a test for a license I wanted, and that shoved all my repressed emotions out. I've been stepping in and out of depressive episodes for the past few weeks. My D-Day was 130 plus days ago, but most days, I think about her. I don't miss her. I think about how she could do this to me. How she can go around living like nothing happened. She lied to her dad about me, or at least tried to. I told him what happened, and he told me she had told him a different story. I think about how she acted like it was so easy to move on, like I never existed or mattered. I try to remind myself that even if I did everything perfectly in our relationship, nothing would have changed. But the thoughts creep back in and make me feel so inadequate as a person and as a partner. I'm a 21-year-old guy, so I know I still have a lot of time to move on and eventually find someone new. But these thoughts make my days and nights move so slowly. I hate to admit it, but I still break down crying at times, and I feel so embarrassed by it. I wish I could just brush this off and go sleep around like she can. Instead, I'm here failing tests and working a dead-end job, feeling like I'm doing nothing right. I recently got hired at a new place, and I'll be making more money. I got enrolled to start community college in the fall, so I'd have to quit my new job for school. That's beside the point, though. I just want everyone to know I'm still trying to keep myself occupied and that I'm not giving up. It's just so hard for me to remember I'm not what she made me feel like I was. I can't afford therapy right now, and my living situation is complicated, so I can't really get help paying for it. My rant is over. If anyone else is struggling still, I feel it too. People are so crappy, and this experience has really opened my eyes to how quickly life can be turned upside down and how powerful emotions can be. Update. I don't know where else to go for this, but I've read through here enough to know not to respond. I know she's only texting me because her affair partner is gone, or someone else did her wrong. Either way, I'm not answering. She's apologizing and saying all the you deserve better nonsense. Honestly, without this sub, I would have answered immediately. She's caused me too much pain to give her any time of day at this point. I hope all of you stay strong too. Edit. This is getting a lot more attention than I thought. So I just want to say for those who are experiencing this too, this is not easy. I'm not going to answer, that would completely disrespect every single person who upvoted and commented on this post. Even those little jabs some of you guys want me to take at her. That's not me. Sorry to disappoint you guys. I wanted her to reach out for so long so I could feel like my feelings toward her were somewhat valid. But the way she worded her apology just further proves how crappy of a person she is. Sorry I was going through this funk, hope you're okay. That's basically what she said. It made me feel like crap once I realized how little my feelings actually matter. Like really, after everything you caused me, that is the apology I get. I just felt you guys deserved my honest thoughts and reaction to it. I know it might help one person out there wishing or hoping their ex reaches out. Just remember, they can't hurt you if you don't let them. And I do want to block her, but again, if I'm being completely honest, I left her on read, and I know it's going to drive her insane. Maybe it won't, but it makes me feel good I get a bit of revenge, if you could even call it that. That's all I'm going to say about it. Everyone here deserves peace, and your ex reaching out might not give you what you may have hoped for if they're like mine. Good luck to you all. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you really like our videos, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.